Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Tequila B with True Love Designs, and today we're talking menswear. Menswear. Yep, it's the first episode of my menswear collection for the month of July. It has been brought to my attention that I might have left you all hanging a bit. I know I talked about this um, turtleneck that I was working on for my husband quite a few times, but I never was able to get it finished. So just let me give you a little backstory on that, okay? So what happened was I had a lot of footage for putting this sweater together and the obstacles that I went through with choosing the right fabric and all of that good stuff. However, when it came time for me to put that video together, I was having a hard time downloading my footage and getting it all together and it was just a mess not only that i put some cuffs on the original version of my husband's sweater and they didn't come out quite right it ended up making the sweater look a little blousy yeah so i needed to do that part over but i'd already cut the sleeves so short I really would have to just take those sleeves off and start over. I used my serger with that. So I just said, you know what? I'm just going to scrap the whole first garment and just make it all over again. So that's what I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I heard Kane. So that's what I did. Did it over. Finally got it right. I hemmed it got the sleeves instead of trying to make a cuff for this sweater i just went ahead and hemmed it with the two and a quarter hem and left it at that i didn't want to go through the hassle of putting on cuffs and then them not turning out right again right i remade the sweater he tried it on i did the sleeves and all is well so originally i used some waffle knit sweater like material but when I started sewing with it it was giving me a lot of trouble like the holes are so big the stitching it wasn't coming together like it should have and when I went to seam rip it it really just made big holes and snags in the fabric so I realized that I didn't want to make the sweater with that <clears throat> fabric after all after scrapping that waffle knit fabric, I went ahead into my stash and I was able to find um, a bundle that I purchased from Walmart. I cannot tell you exactly what the content is, but it does feel like a ponty. It's heavy. Mm, I don't even know if I would say medium weight. It's kind of heavy. So this would do him really well in the winter time. It has a great feel. It's very stretchy recovers well so i say all of that to say that the sweater is complete and this is the first piece that i will be showcasing for my men's collection will be this men's turtleneck the pattern that i use for this men's turtleneck is this easy men's turtleneck by seda ozell and i ordered this off of etsy and it comes sizes small to extra large the difficulty for this pattern is rated at a two out of five, two out of five dots. And I mean, it's easy. If you know how to put together a shirt, this will be no problem for you. So a beginner could make this pattern very, very easily. Yeah, pretty simple. I made a size medium in this pattern for my husband. Um, his exact measurements, I cannot quite remember off the top of my head, but I believe that the chest circumference is a 34 and it fits just perfectly. It's the right length and everything. Um, the other exciting thing about this turtleneck is that it is the first garment that I have been able to place a label in. Yes, I ordered some labels and they look like this. I hope that's the right way for you guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's backwards or not. But these are my labels and I am so excited. Um, it's been about a year now since I knew I wanted labels and since I saw some labels that I wanted to order. But just like 
before there were so many options and different things like this store may have sold something that I liked here but didn't have this font and this store may have had this font but not the type of label that I wanted so it was very very frustrating and I just put it all to the side same thing almost happened this time when I got ready to purchase these I just became so overwhelmed because like there were so many choices and options and I just didn't know what to pick but my husband finally helped me decide on one and I ordered them on I think it was like a Tuesday and they were here by that Friday I probably could have had them maybe like the next day or so but um I was delayed in responding to the messages to approve some of the proofs that were sent to me I am excited to have these labels and they will be in everything that I make and I may even go back and put them in some other pieces of garments just depends on how I feel but um, these were on sale you get 60 labels 30 free so I got a total of 90 labels for I believe a little less than $30 I may not have even paid 25 and that's including shipping so it was a really good deal and I was excited I was able to go ahead and pick a label and jump on it so these will be in my clothing from now on and I made my husband a size medium and um, I made him a medium I didn't make any adjustments to the pattern I made it as is and it came out perfect he loved it but enough about all of the specifics it's time to show you those photos if you like what you've seen so far hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already comment and share this video with a friend until next time keep sewing stop that Keep